Hi Gay Darusa with the Majestic Rider. So on another horse that I'm training, he's kind of stuck on go. He was also stuck on the barn. And uh, so I've only taken him out a couple times on the trail, not very far. And so we're gonna see how it goes today, but he was very barn sour. So he's a little fast and that's okay. So all I do is if he tries to turn around, I just slide the bit in the direction I don't want him to go and I do it a little bit tough, not horribly hard. Very good, buddy. But the first day I rode around, I spent 10 minutes just doing that as he kept dragging me back to the barn. And then I would steer him out and drop the reins and if he wanted to go back to the barn, we would go back to the barn and I would just slide the bit the whole time I was there. So he's pretty smart. He figured it out after five times if he got away with away from the barn it was a better idea so now we're going to try and take him down the trail and up the hill and maybe a little bit further so i'm trying to make going out on the trail a good thing not a bad thing so i don't want to work really hard out there i'll move if he needs to move because he's nervous or his energy but otherwise i'm trying to make going out on the trail be easier and the arena riding and so he's pulling me down the hill a little bit it's nice that you want to go out but we want to keep his weight on his back end and there's horses that sometimes pop up here so i'm always trying to sit back in case they jump out but at least he's motivated now to go out on the trail versus he wouldn't come out here at all this is how can happen when horses haven't been out in a while or they tried something with somebody and they got away with it and then nobody ever got them out again and that gets stuck in their head and then somebody has to fix it okay. so since he's moving out I don't want to walk make him walk really slow especially for a horse that wouldn't go out on the trail before I'd rather just kind of let him go as long as he's not running and uh, that's the hard thing about horses. Each one's not the same and what works with some horses doesn't work with others. And some, of course, you can overpower them and that's what most people do is overpower the horse. But then a lot of times the clients can't do that and the horse is gonna test them and then they're gonna fail. So I always try to use things that a client could do. You know, it's not hard to slide the bit and uh, that's pretty easy, but they do have to think. And we're going out alone. It'll probably be much better with another horse. Now, when I get down here, the things flap. And I know home is to the left. And so he might try to go to the left. So I'm going to slide the bit a little bit now. Good job, buddy. So right there, see, he didn't do anything. But the other day, he tried to rear up. And he just tried a little, like... Do I have to go? And then I caught him and instead of rearing up, he just went, okay. That's the difference between, you know, trying to make them want to do what you want versus me having to beat him up. I just gave him other options. Like, you wanna go back to the barn? Let's go back to the barn. I don't care. I got tons of arena work I could do with you. Now we got the scarecrow up here that scares everybody. He did go by it the other day going over the whole stuff on the ground so even though he's a little nervous which happens we're going over lots of stuff that you guys can't see so even though he's a little nervous he's being quite good good job buddy but like when you're explaining horses to people and I'm always trying to explain this is not a beginner horse no this is a horse somebody needs to ride him He's a great horse, he's very smooth, but he's smart and he tests them. So you have to know what you're getting into. And a lot of people don't, people never ask those questions. Like, is he a tester? What's he do when he spooks? And lots of people go, well, they don't spook. Well, a lot of times that's because they haven't seen anything. <laughs> so if you wanna ask them, like, what has that horse seen? We just ride in the woods and we occasionally see a deer. 
That's not the same as riding in California. We see everything. So you can hear him snorting. He's taking in everything. So I gotta kind of be prepared and sit back. He's going, isn't he? But I don't know how far he's gonna go. And they smell stuff up here and here is breathing getting louder. That's not because he's out of breath. It's because he's smelling what's up here. See him jump? You're okay, I got you. So now I'm playing with the bit a little bit just to get his attention. Good job. Good job. So he's now he truly is nervous, but he's going forward. And someone might have made him go. That's, you know, sometimes it. Somebody's just kicking the heck out of them instead of building confidence so they'll go, but they're petrified. And then when they realize you're not going to make them go, they're like, I'm not going. I'm petrified to go out there. So I just want them to have some good rides out here. He's sure-footed. This is very narrow. He just looked down. And he's very athletic. And athleticism is good and bad. It's good that they'll get you out of problems and they can climb, but they can also do some airs above the ground and things like that when they're athletic. Now we hit a branch. He was okay with all that stuff. He's fine with me hitting these bushes. So, and I haven't pushed him once except when you saw him do that little wiggle down at the bottom of the hill. He's just going. So lots of people think just, well, just ride the heck out of him and he's out there. No. We just want to have a good ride. So we're going to go a little bit. But not super far. And uh, you see, he his ears are all forward. He's looking for danger. If something jumps out, I know he's going to jump. So I'm trying to just, I'm leg yielding back and forth. Like, hey, let's distract you a little bit. He's like, I thought I was crazy, but who are you talking to, lady? So now let's, he doesn't bend that well. He's getting better, but he doesn't bend that great. So we'll do some of the serpentine out here. So it's not like we're drunk. We're just weaving. And I'm trying to do it to get his attention. And it's not coming yet. I'm not surprised. So... I wouldn't want to take this horse out with my friends. I wouldn't want to take him on a long ride because he's not ready. But that's what lots of people do, okay? I want to get him listening, paying attention, and more relaxed that he's not thinking he has to run out here. And so some of those horses that are dragging you down the trail and you think are brave are really scared. It's just somebody has beat them up and got them stuck so much on go. They just figure the faster they go, the faster they'll get back to the barn, the faster you'll get off, and the faster they're back to their comfort zone. So see, this horse can rock back pretty well on his pox. Yeah, good job. So that's the first time he kind of took a breath there was that sneeze. Good job, buddy. So I want to make friends with him. I want to be his leader, but I also want to know that this is not going to be a horrible thing. This is fun here. But when we get back from this ride, then I am going to put him back to work in the arena. Just to make sure he understands that home is not the good place to be. Okay. If this horse walks out nice, this isn't one you want to make walk really slow because people like to walk out. And so you want to keep the horses like this because those people will enjoy them. There's lots of horses that go slow for the slow people. Right? Go boy. Good job, buddy. Now, he's getting a little nervous, so I'm going to shorten up. Sometimes the deer are hanging in here. 
breathe. Good boy. So it's not just the horse breathe, it's you breathe too. And keep your body relaxed. But when they give you a cue like that, you don't want to sit there and not shorten your reins up and be ready. Because that's just setting yourself up for trouble. They give you lots of body language to tell you. He put his ears and he, he got a little high-headed and hollowed his back out. And I said, oh, he's scared. So I shortened up to let him know, hey, I'm here with you. It's okay. Okay. Oh, boy. Good job. I guess what? I like that he's short. So I got off. Hi. And guess what? Probably nobody has done that before. So I want to get off. That's his reward. He doesn't have to carry me. I like to hike, so I'm going to hike some with him. Good boy. And then he doesn't have to be as scared because I'm on the ground. Let's go up here and look a little bit for food. Although I don't think there's any. So they always feel safer with you on the ground because they know you'll get eaten first because they know we're slow. Not many of us are Olympic runners or sprinters, especially not me. So they're going to feel more comfortable with you on the ground if you can walk. And so I like to show them, yeah, I might ride you, but I might just walk. And you did your part, and now I'm going to do my part. And I'm going to turn them around. You want to eat? Good job. Good job. So I eat you had them. <laughs> Couldn't get them out. Hours and hours. And I did the opposite of what they did. I just worked on arena work and then I uh, I did the arena work and then I run them around the barn. I never, I didn't try to go on the trail for a while. And then I had to, you know, separate them from the other horses. And so when he wanted to go over there, I just let him go over there. Sometimes the hardest thing is just to let your horse do the bad thing if you can. And then let him see what happens to him. So I let him go to the other horses. Good job. So now you're walking nice and slow. Good job. I let him go to the other horses and then I just made it miserable over there by him. It was his option. He could either stay by the other horses or he could leave. And if you're always trying to hold them away from the other horses, they a lot of times never learn their lesson. So when your horse has a bed magnet like that, it keeps really getting attracted to something. It's best to just go over there and then make it miserable. If you got to get off and lunge them by the other horses, that's what you do. Get, lunge them in the pasture. You know, do the sending exercise. Back them around the pasture and then take them away and make it nice. If your horse has some brains, it might take one time or it might take 10 times or it could take 100 times if it's not on the smarter side. They'll figure it out that this is not a good place to be and horses are all about easy. What is easiest for my life? That's all they ask themselves and that's why they pace and that's why they trot and that's why they are pulling themselves up the hill. That's why they're putting their head on the ground. That's why they're tripping. Because not paying attention is much easier than paying attention. Being strung out is much easier than engaging your body. Right? Oh. So what's easiest for the horse is not good for us, right? We don't want him pacey or trotty or strung out. We, you know, we want to have a good ride. We don't want to walk really slow or run really fast. We want all the in-between stuff because that's good for us. But for the horse, that's hard stuff for them. So they're not going to pick that unless somebody taught them to pick those things. And most of the time, people have taught them all the wrong things or let them get away with it. So that's why horses do bad things. So show them the options. But sometimes the best thing to do is just to let them pick the option. And then you show them that's a bad option. You shouldn't do that because this is associated with that. But if you do this thing I would like you to do, that will make your life much easier. And sooner or later, they'll say, hmm, I'm going to try something else. I'll try what she kind of is allowing me to do. And uh, yeah, that did make my life easier. I won't go by my friends anymore every time I go away from her. She stops and gives me some food and a treat and a scratch. And that's much better than being yanked on or side passed over by my friends or having to do more work. Okay. So I'm going to walk him back. All right, but I hope that helps you get some of your horses out on the trail. Remember, do the other work first. 
and then fix the magnet then try to go out but don't go very far just go out a little bit further each day and then get off and walk back or graze and then your horse will want to go because he realizes you're going to get off and his life gets e easier out there and then uh they'll just start going just like this horse did right i think this is his second third not very many times yes you're a good boy not very many times and they made it sound horrendous so i didn't know if he was ever going to get out here he's not an easy horse don't get me wrong but he's a great horse the great ones can be difficult at times because they outsmart everybody all right hope that helps